white numerals. It'll be Ronnell Wooten jumping center against Shane Dansby, and Dansby stole the tip, and the Bruins have it to open play. He did. I think that's the first tip all year that I've seen Ronnell didn't get. Ronnell usually steals it. Man-to-man -man defense by the Owls here in the early going. Just underway at the Convocation Center. Around the perimeter it goes. Justin Hare on the right side. He will leave it out front for Dotson, three-pointer. Up, no good. Loose ball and a whistle. And it'll be a foul on Belmont. Excellent block out, block out that time by everybody. I saw everybody go to the boards in there. Nobody flew. We're going to see Belmont step up here in some full court, man. That went on Dansby. Owls' first possession of the night. McConnell driving all the way to the baseline, knocked away out of bounds by Hare. The senior and freshman going at it. Quite a matchup for young Kelvin McConnell. It's an interesting matchup both ways. On the other end, we had Ron L on Hare down on this end. They've got number 40, Henry Harris guarding Ron L. Nice lob into Allison. Playing against Matthew Dotson, Ron L. Wooten from 17. Oh, it's good. Love to see Ron L. put it on the floor and create his own shot. Nicely done. Two to nothing here in the first minute of play. Hare from the left elbow. The wooden go. Loose ball. Scramble for it. And Sean Stiegel out there across midcourt. Bounce pass to Tanner Jacobs. Fakes. Fakes again. Puts it up. Has it blocked. Gets the rebound. Scramble for it. Tanner will follow and hit. Uh, way to stay on it. Third on the lead, Craig, and offensive rebounding, and there's a reason for it. We just saw an example of it right there. Four to nothing. Three-pointer would not go for Dansby. Rebound on the weak side. And here come the Owls looking to expand on the 4-0 lead. McConnell works on Hare. Now looks to the right side. Dribbles toward the corner. Now reverses. Puts up a 17-footer. It's in and out. No good. Tipped out by Allison to Tanner Jacob. Great job by John Allison on the offensive boards. Not thinking. Rebound is all about desire. He had it on that play. Sean Stiegel leaves it for Ronnell. Three-pointer left side. Good. Oh, baby. We got him hot in a hurry, Craig. <laughs> I love it. And that's the start that Coach England Company wanted. 7-0. Hare, top of the key, picks up his dribble. Now Nowhere he's got to go. have help. Nowhere to go. Finds it in the form of Henry Harris. Now over it goes to Peoples. Peoples is not a three-point shooter. You can see he doesn't want to shoot it. And they've scouted him, and Allison's playing way off of him. Ball knocked away by Sean Stiegel out of bounds. The Bruins will keep it with 12 seconds on the shot clock just inside the 18-minute mark, and a quick timeout taken by Coach Rick Bird for Belmont. We will keep it right here and remind you that when the Owls play, you win big at Sideline Sports Grill, Baird Parkway. Just bring your Owls ticket stub to Sideline Sports Grill or mention Owls Radio, Super Talk 1230-1340 and receive half off all appetizers. The offer is good for all games, home and away, on game nights only. At sideline Sportly, we've been at hole dug real deep. Love to see him get off early. The Bruins have 12 seconds with which to work on this possession. Hare gets it over to Peoples down in the corner, goes to Dotson, three-pointer is up and good. Dotson is deadly. He's one of those guys that came with Boomer Herndon from the University of Tennessee, transferred in a few years ago. 7-3, your score, KSU the lead and the ball. 17-40 to go in the first half. Allison in between the circles, will hand it right back to McConnell. Kelvin working on Justin Hare. Puts to the right side, dribbles that way, dishes to Ron L. Wooten, puts up a three-pointer, it's no good. Rebound by Tanner Jacobs. Now back out top, Sean Stiegel. He'll put it up and oh, hit it. baby, Sean Stiegel from three-point land. 10-3. The second seven-point advantage by KSU here in the early minutes. We played right at three minutes in the first half. Shot from Dansby will rattle in. He's dangerous from everywhere. He's got a he's got a good body on him. Can go inside. Sean a little careless with the dribble. Got fortunate there. McConnell takes it across half court now to Wooten. Back to McConnell. Now Allison. Ronnell's trying to get open off all those screens, and Henry Harrison's riding him like a horse. Allison puts it up, top of the key, and banks it in. The bank is open. Hey, I love late banking. <laughs> 13 to 6 in favor of KSU. 16.25 to go in the first half, and Belmont back on their heels here. That pass, and KSU hitting on all cylinders in the early going against the 
second place team in the Atlantic Sun. It's pretty good when you can bring a player like Andy Wick off the bench who's ninth in the conference in assists and he doesn't even start. Ron Ella from the left elbow in and out, no good. Rebound snared by Campbell. Here come the Bruins down 13 to six. Shot from the left side up and no good off the hands of Andy Wick. Rebound by Ron L. Wooten. Up from McConnell to Stiegel, heads to the lane, puts up the pass to Allison, could not control it, and right to Dansby it goes. Yeah, a little bit out of control on that one. I don't think Allison was ready. The fake he and blocked a block it by he Allison, it. and it'll go out of bounds. Will it go to KSU? Oh, oh, go. I love it. And with that, inbound along the baseline. Oh, an easy bucket for Justin Hare. That was too easy right there. One bounce and here's the way up. Five-point ball game, KSU the lead and possession. 15-10 to go for a staff. McConnell to Ron L. Luton. Now left side it goes on the wing. To Stiegel, baseline jumper, bounces no good. Allison goes up with the rebound, but loses it to Hare. And the Bruins trying to pull it in three. A shot up, no good, but a foul by Ron L. And then went to the block. And that like John Allison got the rebound at seven foot. He brought it down there where the little guys can come inside and rake it away. And that's what they did. That's a cardinal rule for the big men. Keep the ball high. You look how deep Belmont's going on the bench. And here they go again. Right here, bringing in the number three, Keaton Becker. This is a team now that the, the player that plays the most minutes on their roster plays 28 minutes or less. Think of how that will affect them later in the season. And later in the ball game, too, because they got fresh legs. They come running in all the time. This is the first substitution the Owls have gotten. They brought in Petey, and uh, now they're bringing in uh, Keontae. One more at the line for Renfro, Junior from Hermitage, Tennessee. Next to the first one. It is up and got the friendly bounce. Renfro getting 73 percent of his foul shot opportunities next to the four-point contest at 13 to 9. And Sean needing help on the inbound gets it into Keontae Keith. This is his first appearance of the night. Keontae the sophomore from Jefferson, Georgia. He'll get it across the half court strike, guarded by Belcher. Keontae picks up his dribble, now needs help. Finds it in the form of Ron L. Wooten. 13.35 to go in the first half. 13-9 KSU. The lead in the ball. Rhino goes baseline. Stops. Double team. Lobs it out to Keontae. Nine to shoot. Sean puts it up. <laughs> and hits. It looks like he's going to be out of his hand. He's going to be out of his hand right now. Outstanding pass from the top inside. Uh, two sounds bigger than that. We have seen KSU do that much more over the last couple of ball games. On the left side. House gets it over. To Gamble driving into the lane and a whistle. And then we have a foul on KSU. And Seth to Keontae Keith, second team foul. First person on Keontae. Put a little gap around here. He's doing some hot skipping and jumping. The inbound and Justin Hare. The same play to the other side. 15 11. My goodness. I'm going to write that play down from the little AAU team. That's a great play. <laughs> Inside 14 minutes to go to the half. Kelvin McConnell lobs it, but lobs it way too far. And Stiegel unable to snare it before it goes out of bounds and over to Belmont. Just a reminder, coming up on the Ed Boyles Automotive Halftime Show, will be joined by, among others, Pete Babcock, former general manager of the Atlanta Hawks, an NBA longtime participant. That shot would not go for Renfro, but a blocking foul, and then it'll go against Petey Whipple. Petey is sophomore from Jordan, Georgia. Renfro, back of the line where he was just a moment ago. Hits on this one. 15-12, your score. On a lane violation by Ron L. will give Rich for another opportunity. By the way, here's what's on the menu at Sideline Sports Real Bear Park. We have a Monday special, a burger anyway with fries, just $5.95, or the Baja chicken. Is that the list now? 